Hi, Adam. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Good. Thanks. Are you, you're in the office, huh? I'm in my office today, yeah. I guess uh, I come you've in on... been doing that all along because of the nature you have an office, and it's not very uh, crowded in the offices of Film Farm on any day. Yeah, that's true. Although there's the commute, which, you know, I try to avoid on the subway. But, um, yeah, so we've been coming into... The... We've all been coming into the office, you know, for varying amounts of time since last uh, July. Right, right. So yeah. when would you have, when did it, what would you remember the day that it uh, had to lock down? March 15th. You do remember. That's yeah, that was, it, it's hard to forget. It was, a, we were open on a Saturday. We were showing, uh, Bruce was showing the birds. And on the last day, we were in operation and uh, closed on March Sunday, March 15th, I think. I remember. Um, well, the good news is, let's just not bury the lead, mm -hmm. right? We are only hours, OK, a few days. But days. we're only days <laughs> from this exciting moment where Film Forum is, that's why I, I, I is opening on April 2nd, fr this coming Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're so excited to finally reopen. I can only imagine. Yeah, we've been waiting for, right. what can I say, a year, but I mean, we've been, you know, we felt we could have opened last, uh, late last summer when the rates were were down um, and done so safely, but we're like overjoyed that things happen so quickly and we can actually reopen on Friday. That is great. Uh, is there anything people should know in terms of any other uh, protocols they can expect uh, when they start lining up? Yeah, well, first of all, we're, you know, per the state uh, regulations, we um, are selling all of our tickets on a reserved basis. So you have to reserve your, your seat in advance. Uh, and you can do so on our website, filmform.org. Uh, you can also do it at the box office on the day of the show. And uh, we are obviously spacing all this. We have 25% capacity in each theater. All the seats are spaced at least six feet apart. Uh, we've installed new MERV 13 air filters in all theaters and the lobby. And we're encouraging people to show up at showtime because you don't need to line up. You can just take your seat. Right. And um, yeah, there's no there's no longer really in, under those conditions. There's no advantage of early arrival. Right, exactly. You don't have to yeah. be the first in line to get the seat you want. Yeah. Um, we. We are also, we're not opening the concession stand at the moment, so um, you will have to wear a mask as when you enter the lobby and when you enter the theater and keep the mask on. And we feel this just, you know, creates a, a safer atmosphere for everyone and you won't have someone behind you taking off their mask to eat or, or drink anything. Right. And uh, we'll have all the theaters and all the seats in every theater cleaned um, uh, rigorously between each show. And so we have a bit more of a break time between each show and every theater. And as a consequence, we're trying to add more screenings. As a consequence of that and the capacities, we're trying to add more screenings of some of the films. And we're gonna try to you know, set screen times on a week by week basis, depending on how, how things go. You know, This is gonna be a new, it's a new regimen for us. Sure. Um, and we'll see how it goes this weekend and then decide on screen times uh, on Monday for next week. And so to also to be clear, virtual, virtual uh, screenings continue. Virtual cinema continues on Film Forum's, we off Film Forum's website. Website. That's correct. Um, so we're continuing virtual cinema mm -hmm. uh, with the Wanda Robich documentary, which we opened just less than two weeks ago. We'll continue to offer that, and as well as Minari, which is, of course, up for multiple Oscars, including Best Picture. We're continuing to offer that film as well through virtual cinema. And uh, a number of the films that were opening in April will also be available through virtual cinema. We felt it was important to, as much as possible, offer that alternative for audiences who are not yet vaccinated or ready to come back to the movies. Mm -hmm. And um, the films that open this Friday, however, are only available in the theater. And th that's The Truffle Hunters, uh, the Pedro Almodovar's The Human Voice with Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, 
And in the repertory? Um, and on the repertory screen, it's a new restoration of Fellini's La Strada. I'm not familiar with that. Is that good? <laughs> I understand it's a classic. A 4K, new 4K restoration. That's yeah. exciting, too. I did see both the Truffle Hunters and the Human Voice at the New York Festival in my living room. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. This last yeah. fall, and I can attest they are both thoroughly watchable, spectacular films. And of course, La Strada, for anybody who likes or loves Fellini, it's or Italian cinema, it's right. You can't get better yeah, than that. And then and then on the ninth, you're getting rear window. Just give some people some in the repertory cinema. So you that's right. We're getting the way uh, so yeah. So Bruce is gonna show a, a one-week run of Rear Window, which as you know is set in in Greenwich Village, um, just a few a few blocks away from the theater. And um, I believe it's Bruce's favorite Hitchcock film. I don't think I'm stretching the truth to say that. All right. And uh, on April 16th, we're opening a number of new films as well as um, the uh, Alec Guinness classic, Kind Hearts and Coronets, which will be on the repertory screen. Right, an audience favorite. Uh, yeah, and those films will be um, Gunda, which is a breathtakingly photographed documentary about a pig and her piglets mm -hmm. on a farm. It has no dialogue. It's an immersive experience in animal life that's really hard to forget. Mike, are you and an animal lover? I certainly am. I mean, between Stray <laughs> and this new one you're mentioning. It seems like and look the truffle and you as you know the, the truffle hunters and the truffle hunters is a wonderful dog movie it's and a wonderful dog movie that's right I almost forgot. And, and don't forget tilda swinton's dog in the human voice i mean there are you know it's a, it's an animal kingdom and we only live in it <laughs> right well congratulations and um a lot i think a lot of you know theaters will be looking at at your success and at your experience at film forum you know well yeah we have no way of knowing how it's going to go until we open the doors and, and right and you know we we have we did set um tickets on sale last week and we were very encouraged by the number of advanced sales so far but even so we can only sell 25 percent of the house so you understand you know how well can we do we're going to have to you know it's, it's not until we get to the point where there's a kind of herd immunity and, and, right. and businesses opened up at a much higher percentage or full operations to see how, uh, how well, you know, art house movie theaters will do after a year of being shut down. It was, it was very, it was a very tough time. Right. Uh, well, maybe, you know, maybe there's some things you can leverage during this first weeks, you know, and then as, the more and more New Yorkers are vaccinated, et cetera, et cetera. With any, with all the luck and fingers crossed, you'll yeah. be able to, uh, the protocols will be lightened up a little bit. But you'll also know yeah, that I, you I, had to run a theater during a pandemic too. That's right, that's right. Well, the dwindling and, and I, of, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was encouraged at how quickly New York State is, um, is making more and more people eligible for a vaccine. That it's it's just in the last few weeks, especially it's it's accelerated in comparison with other states. So yeah, I'm getting mine tomorrow. That's great news. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that you're getting it. Thank you. Do you have a, <laughs> any news on that front or? Well, I got my first vaccine on, oh, great. Friday, and my wife was vaccinated in January, um, oh. so we'll be a fully vaccinated household soon enough. That's fantastic. Glad to hear it. Um, well, I just wanted to get this word out. We're going to put this up today. Great. And we're going to then also put this on the podcast on Friday. I mean, this will go up as, you know, like on this YouTube channel I've been doing since we've been locked down. I, I got to have my, I got to have company. <laughs> so, uh, but um, I'm, I'm excited to put the word out about Film Forum. I've been wanting to do this. So I'm glad it worked out. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Unless you have anything else to add that I've forgotten. You know what? I would just say I would just um, say a word about a few other films we have coming up. Oh, sure, you, yeah. Um, I'm happy, um, only too happy to plug that. You know, we have... And by so the I, way, Mike, yeah. I just want to yeah. tell people, 
you just you could also go right to filmform.org. That's right. And download the the program. It's ro it's a robust program, and you can get on the mailing list also. But Thank you. Man. You took the words right out of my mouth, man. Uh, <laughs> there is a PDF that we just put up on Friday of yeah. our April programming, so you can see all of the classics and uh, premieres that we have coming up. But I just wanted to mention, in addition to Gunda, I wanted to mention that we're also going to be opening Roy Anderson's most recent film about endlessness. Uh, he is the master Swedish absurdist director who um, every time he, come, he doesn't make a lot of films, but every time he does, um, it's an event and no one makes movies that look like his. Uh, so that's going to open on April 30th. And uh, he, we've been waiting a long time to show it. We didn't want to play it through virtual cinema. The distributor Magnolia Pictures also wanted to wait as long as possible. And we're glad that we're going to finally be able to show it on the big screen. And Magnolia is distributing in the new Roy. That's great. Is it yeah. funny? Because, you know, his, it's usually there's a lot of the absurdist, I mean, absurdist suggests as much, but you can laugh yeah. about it, his films. Yeah. There are flashes of humor in this one, um, as there always are, but there's more of a melancholy, heavier tone to it. Um, but he makes, for those who haven't seen his movies, he makes very kind of dry comic vignettes about the human condition. And it's all um, beautifully, meticulously art designed and um, shot entire, almost entirely in a studio. And he does things with, you know, tricking your eye into thinking that you're looking at a vast canvas when you're actually looking at something that was shot in a very small space. So um, like here. there you go. <laughs> yes. And you probably had a team of artisans painting the background there as well. Right. Okay. Any others worth mentioning or, well, they're all worth mentioning, but. Absolutely all worth mentioning. I mean, I would also mention a documentary on uh, the outsider art Bill Trailer. It's called Bill Trailer Chasing Ghosts. And uh, Bill Trailer was uh, born into slavery in Alabama in 1853 and taught himself how to draw and paint towards the end of his life in his 80s when he was living wow. on the streets in Montgomery. And um, he went from you know, being someone who, who was making these beautiful, colorful drawings and paintings um, and selling them on the street to you know, now his work is in the collection of the Museum of Modern Art and the Smithsonian. And um, there's just been a resurgence, resurgence of interest in him over the last few years. And this is, as far as I know, the first uh, feature length documentary about him. And that, opens, title. and that is called Bill Trailer Chasing Ghosts. Chasing and it Ghosts. opens on April 16th. Uh, well, it looks like a great spring. On, yeah, we're excited. There's... On West Houston Street. <laughs> I think it will be. There's a lot more coming up after that, too. Oh, I'm, holding back. Out. I'm, I'm sure you guys yeah. are just chomping at the bit. And um, it's, it's, it's very good news. Um, Mike uh, Maggiore is the programmer, premieres programmer at Film Forum. Down. And again, we'll remind people okay. to, go, to go to filmforum.org. They can sign up for the, the newsletter. They can purchase tickets. Most importantly, yeah. they can get the download the new program for the, the I guess, the first part of the spring. Um, for April, yes. Yeah, for April. Too. And we'll have a out soon. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thanks, Adam. And we'll see you at the film. We'll see you at Film Forum. Yeah. I'll see you there. Let's okay. Stay well. You too. Okay. Sad everybody. Bye bye.